Hey guys, welcome back to another Imagine 4 tutorial. In today's video, it's going to be a very quick one on just the basics of foliage culling. And what that basically does is it despawns or unloads and loads foliage and other stuff like that based on the distance the player is away from them. And now this is very good for optimization. So if you have like a deep forest, something like this, you don't want all of this constantly loaded in as obviously having all of this in a large area is going to lag out your game, especially if the player doesn't have an amazing computer. So you can see we have all of this here, and if a player starts getting far away from it, this should start despawning and unloading the farther away we get, like so. So you can see if all of this area was forest, we'd have this part loaded in, but the part over there not loaded in. So this works great. So you can see we've only got half of it loaded in, which is obviously going to help our PC handle this a lot better. So like I say, I'm just going to be going over the basics of how to set this up and how to do this. It's very quick and easy to do. So I'm going to be doing that now. So I do have a video on more in depth on the actual foliage editor tool here. So you can create different kind of landscapes and foliage and stuff like this to make it all look great in your game. And it's very easy to do. So like I say, I have a video on that, which will be on screen now. So let me just get this and we'll go back into this. So what I'm going to do is I'll leave this here and I'll leave all the foliage tool that I've already done. I'll then go into the culling. So I'll just reset what I've done and get back to you. So you can see here in this just small area here, I've got 52 trees, 1.81 thousand bushes, and 1.79 thousand pieces of grass. Now that's a lot in just this small area. So we don't want all of this loaded at the exact same time. And obviously you probably wouldn't have it like this in your game. You'd probably do it a lot better, but again, just an example. So what we're gonna do to implement the foliage culling is we're gonna select everything that we want. So I want to have the trees, the bushes, and the grass all load and unload at the exact same distance. So I'm gonna select them all to change their value at the same time. Obviously, if you want different pieces to load in sooner, for example, if you want the trees to load in before the grass or you want the grass to load in before the trees, you have to be closer to see the grass. So you're gonna be walking forwards, the grass will load in, you keep walking forwards, the trees will load in. So I'll show you that afterwards as well. You should know how to do it after seeing this. So what we're gonna do is with the ones selected that we want to edit, we're gonna scroll down until we find instance settings here and we're gonna change the cull distance. So the minimum you can leave is zero, the maximum we're gonna change this. So I'm gonna set this to be 10,000, but you can set this to be whatever you like. This is just the distance the player is gonna be from the foliage for it to load and unload. So when the player goes 10,000 units away, it's gonna unload. So we should see this working straight away now. We go away and you can see all those loading like so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the trees at 10,000, and if I select the grass and the bushes, I'm going to set these to 15,000, so we have to be further away. So now, you can see we have the grass loading in first, we go closer, and then the trees are going to load in. So we have the grass loading in before the trees. So you can set this all to be custom for what you want and how you want it to all be loading, like so. And this also works in-game as well, not just in the camera like so. So you can see we have all of this good stuff here. We have the grass, the trees, the bushes, all of that. And if I start running away, we should see that the trees will unload. And then after that, the grass will also unload. So let me just continue running. And then we should see this working perfectly. So you can see the trees are starting to unload from the back there. And now you can see they're unloading from the front as well. And after a while, we should also see the grass start to unload, despawn, disappear too. And since they are unloading, I'm saying it like that, because that means the system also isn't loading them. So it's not going to lag out your game. And you can see we don't have grass there either. So it's not just that it's setting it invisible so that the player can't see it, it is unloading them so that the system doesn't have to load it, it doesn't have to have it there, and it just helps a lot better for optimization of your game. So like I say, quick one, just explaining this very effective and easy to use tool. So it is literally just this one option here that you will change, but a lot of people don't know how to use this. And it's kind of a hidden option in here. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful and I hope this helps optimize your games a lot better so you can have more freedom on creating more densely populated areas with your foliage and stuff like that without it lacking out your game. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.